And Russia has denied one of its armed patrol units crossed the border into Ukraine. That came as a response to the Ukrainian president's statement, which went on to say that the unit was destroyed. There exists no Russian military convoy that crossed the Russian-Ukrainian border, either at night or during the day. Let's hope the Ukrainian army only destroyed a phantom and not refugees or their own soldiers. Well, the story emerged when two Moscow-based correspondents uh, for the UK's Guardian and the Telegraph newspapers posted on Twitter they saw a column of mil military vehicles with Russian plates crossing the border into Ukraine. Despite the fact that the only evidence for this was a number of photos sh showing armoured vehicles on roads in unidentifiable locations, though the Western media was very quick to pick up the story. The EU and NATO expressed their concern at the news. However, the UN and uh, Washington say they cannot confirm any Russian unit actually crossed the border. Uh, here on RT International, we spoke to a number of political analysts and investigative journalists on this matter. If this invasion had happened, the Ukrainians and NATO would have been desperate to get video of this or photographs up on the internet, on the TV, saying here is proof of a Russian Putin-led invasion of Ukraine. I think you also have to ask this. If the Russians were going to invade Ukraine, would they just send in some armored personnel carriers, lightly armored vehicles? This is the 21st century. In modern times, you don't wage a war by rolling in 23 tanks. Warfare in modern times is waged with drones and fighter helicopters. If there were an actual Russian military invasion of Ukraine, we would know about it, and there would be no debate about it. Well, it would be absolutely insane for Russia to do that, wouldn't it? Absolutely insane for, for Russian um, armored vehicles to go in there in broad daylight, advertising the fact what they were, knowing that everybody's got cameras, everybody can take photographs, and uh, knowing the uh, political situation regarding this conflict, it would be absolutely suicidal of Russia to, to do that. 